Let's look at the film. When you're talking about defensive edge rushers, you want them to set the edge and also come down and crash, hit, and also make contact. Now, off of this play, you see that. You know, number 58, Robert Quinn, he's able to explode off the LOS, get to the backfield. Now, although the running back got upfield, which was still good by the uh, running back to still get this first down, what I'm looking at is a fresh Robert Quinn back on his first game, shooting off and getting out the edge and getting to the running back. And I like what I'm able to see. His pursuit to the ball and chase is just like second to none at this point. I am like what I'm able to see from number 58. Watch how he plays through the echoes of the whistle, not giving up on the play, still pursuing, knowing how to take proper angles. And look, he's side by side with, uh, let's go rewind, let you know his speed right here. He's side by side with Jalen Smith, side by side. Watch how he's able to get to this point and he's gonna meet the quarterback at the sideline he cuts the quarterback off and he's able to hit him make sure he pays <laughs> that tollway make sure he feels that elbow make sure that he hits and get that aggressive tone now that's what i like to see that pure speed flying and chasing out to the ball of course d law gives him the intimidation what i'm looking at with this team is down the line not this game but two to three weeks from now, if they are able to stay healthy, man, man, this guy is just fast with it. And it don't give up on the play. This is playing through the echoes of the whistle. Look, like I said before, we're going to look side by side. And 54 holds up a little bit, but watch number 58. He pursues and he goes and he explodes. This is just my observation. He don't give a care. I'm playing through the echoes of the whistle. I'm not letting up. <laughs> and he gave him a little of that elbow action in, in between the armpit. So we know that hurt. We, we do. And that's what I want. That aggressive tone, that type of temperament, that type of mindset to knock the quarterback out. Man. Now, of course, the quarterback bounced up like a soldier. But what I'm saying is that I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, here's a sack. Now watch how he's in his three-point stand. His ability to just be able to get that separation as it relates to against the opposition. Watch how he fans and watch how he dip his shoulders. That's what I'm looking for especially. And now we've been used to seeing Randy Gregory do this type of bend, his dip. Woo he's so quick with it. Watch he dip. Yeah, he gets small and the actual lineman has nowhere to land his fist or, or his punches or his redirect. And he's been on out of there. The quarterback is dead right now. And he's been going for the ball. I saw several times that the quarterback got the ball out right before he was able to get there. And shout out to Collins, too. I can't leave him out. He got there as well. So he does everything I want to see out for defensive edge rushing. He have his right to dance. Let's go ahead and let him dance on the way. Let him dance on the way. Yeah. Get on up. <laughs> like a quarter horse right there. Or he could be a Tennessee walker at this point. He's one of those horses. <laughs> Let's look at this uh, view again. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Uh, and I like his ability. Look how low he is on this ground. And look how far he's lined up wide. This tight end is going to run his route. He's not going to be able to flip around. And as soon as he get off, number 63 is just hurt from this. I guarantee you what's going to happen. Other teams are going to look at this tape. And they're going to say, hey, we can't line our tight end on the end line right here. No, no. If he's definitely not going to help block, we can't put him right there because this Quinn. <laughs> speed. <laughs> he can't get a hand on Watch how he's slipping. Watch how low his shoulder get. Elbows low. <laughs> Watch that shoulder blade. Can almost cut the grass for you. Still able to get around. Hey, they ain't gonna call holding. It's okay. I'm still fighting towards the ball. I'm trying to get this quarterback down. And that's what I like to see. I love to see this. I love it. I love it. Because all I can think of is down the line. Once this kid gets into football shape, football shape, you know, it's two types of shape, you know, it's off season shape and it's football shape. He will get this thing going one way or another. I wanna know your thoughts. I wanna know your opinions of Robert Quinn. Do you guys feel? That he's that driving force that we need off there on the right side. Match him up with D-Law. Man, Cowboy Nation, let me know. Post your thoughts down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Salute. I'm out. Peace.